All right, guys, we are back, and we have the desert tank up here in my office. All right, so I think it's time that we get our legendary shrimp. You guys might remember these dudes, or, well, they're chicks, but you know what I mean. I think it's time we get them back into their original home, okay? Some uh, really good breeding material here. Hopefully we get some more monsters out of them, and we can kind of subdivide the colony of shrimp into some warriors that can potentially live with pufferfish. We'll see what we can do. I just fed these guys. Look at them all. Look at these over here. Check this out. Oh, that didn't. Come on. <laughs> I'm not scared of anything. Hold on. All right, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> so many shrimp. So many shrimp, flip aquatics. I needed two hands. All right, big mamas, go free. Look at how big these shrimp are compared to the shrimp that are in here. Look at them go. Look at those monsters. Okay. Okay, I'm having some trouble here. Dude, come on, bro. Shrimp versus Ziploc bag. The ultimate nemesis. Jeez, man. Behemoths. I can't get over how thick these shrimp are, guys. Jeez. All right. But anyway, we got to rescape this tank. Okay, we took a lot of rocks out of it, and I have them in a bucket. They're downstairs. I got to go grab them. Our cactuses are... Looking a little distraught, they're laying down, they need to get trimmed, but we need to rebuild this whole left side, and I guess the right side as well. So, that's kind of the task for the day. Alright guys, before we start to dig into our bucket here and replace some of the hardscape, let's go ahead and let's get our cacti out of here and let's trim them up because they're a little crazy looking, overgrown, and there is definitely a little bit of fuzz algae still on these, so by doing that we'll physically remove the algae and kind of shape them back into their original shapes. Just got to make sure that none of these shrimp hang on here quick trip to the sink with a pair of scissors and that is what I was able to do to our cacti I think they look pretty good you know some of them it's a looking a little looking a little thin but give it some time and I think these things will look a lot better we'll get those back in the correct positions in a little bit but now we need to figure out how we're gonna get this bag of filler here into its spot so I dug out a little cavity here for where it was before we're going to put that back in, but it's going to be a challenge to see if we can actually get it in the right position and then have enough substrate to then cover it like it was before. Um, we will be putting some rocks on top of that, but I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see what we can do here. I did kind of a bad job of filming the recreation of this. None of the footage was really usable. So here we are. The tank is pretty much set up again, guys. All right, water's still a little cloudy. I crushed up a bunch of almond leaves and sprinkle them up across the top of the tank those will sink down over the course of the next few days and then our shrimp will have something extra to chew on here are all the shrimp mowing down on some food don't forget guys if you're interested in any of the shrimp that i have they came from flip aquatics and i have a bunch of coupon codes that'll get you 10 percent off even 25 percent off if you want some amano shrimp so make sure you check out the description for those codes and yeah i think the tank looks pretty good I mean it's not completely back to the way that it was before it's a lot different over here on this left side but I don't hate it I also don't really love it all right I left a couple of rocks out they're chilling down here and so obviously there's less rock work overall in the scape the right side is looking a little different as well we have this tall pillar here move the cacti around a little bit too but overall it's it's kind of where I think I'm okay with it being. All right, and I say that because I really liked the old scape, but I don't know. 
you, you always need to change it up and the desert tank has been the same for a very long time. So we'll go with this scape, this rock positioning for a little while and see if it doesn't grow on us. If we take a peek over here, move this cord out of the way. Whoa, styrofoam, making weird noises. But you can see I didn't really get to cover this all too well. I could grab some extra sand to cover that. I might do that a little bit later. Um, but we got it in to position and we got that extra height that we needed these rocks to have because without it, they would sit down pretty low. And as you can tell, the Pogo Stamon here in the front is starting to get a little bit too big. I definitely need to go through and trim this down just to help create more of a hill effect, which we didn't get as much of this time around, just with the positioning of these rocks. So that's what I mean by it looks a lot different. And the positioning of these rocks up here is a little bit different, but managed to keep this one the way that it was. And then of course our, our little, uh, epoxied rock formation here is in pretty much the same spot. The cacti after the trim do look a lot better though. I mean, despite the fact that them being thinned out, you can actually see the individual uh, branches of them, if you will. This one back in the back, it's kind of a little hazy still, but you can definitely see them a lot better than, you know, compared to they were before. They were just kind of like a giant mat of moss. So we'll do our, I'll, I'll try and do a better job of keeping them in a state like this. I think they just look way better like this anyway. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think down in the comments though. Coolie loaches are hanging out. There's one of our striped ones here in the front. Chilling, looking for some food. Hanging out with his shrimp buddies. Looks like we have a deceased nearite snail here. Just an empty shell. Never like to see that, but these things happen. The circle of life is real in the desert tank. But I don't know guys, you know, without any new alien intervention, I don't know really all what's gonna happen with this aquarium moving forward. I mean, it might just kind of chill and not change all that much. I do need to go downstairs and grab the marbled hatchets and put them back in the tank. That's the only thing that we're missing. And actually, ooh, here, here's a good shot of one of the black coolie loaches. Look at that dude. See as big as my finger? Almost. But one thing that was kind of funny when I was trimming some of the cacti, I found one of our tarantulas, okay, our Thai micro crabs, on one of them while I was trimming it. And I was super fortunate not to snip him in half. Here's an Instagram video of that whole interaction after I brought him back up here to put him back in the tank. But yeah, that was pretty much probably the coolest thing that's happened to me all week was hanging out with that crab. I was glad to see one of those guys. I know there's more of them down in here somewhere, but you, they're just so rare to find. So that was cool to, to find that guy and save him. All that moss that I cut off of the cacti is getting repurposed. It's just in a holding tub downstairs, and we're going to be repurposing that on probably a couple different tanks. There was a lot of moss that we were able to get off those things. So just one of the benefits of trimming your cacti is getting a bunch of free moss that you can use for new scapes. We got to fish this blue dude out of here. And you know what? I see a Bloody Mary shrimp back there as well. If you guys are unfamiliar with these black neos, they can breed out the Bloody Marys and I forget which kind of blue shrimp or which blue neo that they call this one, but um, that's kind of like a cool side effect of having these shrimps is that you can uh, come out of it, if, if you're having a good breeding colony, you can come out of it with some blues and some reds that you can then subdivide into their own tanks and keep culling to eventually get mostly all of whatever color you want. I mean, be it red or blue. So pretty cool, another reason why I'm digging these black shrimp and let's see we got some white ones in here that we need to cull out as well but it's just kind of it's a fun little process you know what i think let's go grab the hatchets downstairs and let's reintroduce them to this tank geez if i can find a net my stuff is just everywhere guys i mean oh boy is that canela well I don't want to have to use this, but I think I'm going to. Jeez, I had a Chia Pet this whole time? And there's number two in the SpongeBob net. All right, let's run upstairs. There you go, buddy. Welcome back. 
freaking out. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching the recreation of the Desert Tank. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell. I know a lot of you guys who already have clicked the notification bell aren't getting notifications. So I'm crossing my fingers that YouTube fixes that one of these days. But just be on the lookout for new videos. We're going to be rescaping the tank over here to the left. In the next one, I think the scape turned out pretty good, but I obviously want your feedback. So be on the lookout for that, guys, in the next couple of days. Thank you one more time for watching, and we'll see you next time.